To begin packing up your go, we'll start by disassembling the table panel and putting it away. Remove the knob and ratchet strap and set the panel to the side, then replace the knob. Unzip the screen mesh on the ceiling and lower the second panel down from the attic. If both panels are already down, then sandwich the two panels together with the smooth sides facing each other. Line up the holes and place the panels onto the pin, attaching the keyhole clip to secure the panels. Lift the two panels above the back bar, flip the bar downwards, and lower the panels onto the bar, making sure both holes are set on the pin. Again, attach the keyhole clip to secure the panels. Remove all extra items from the go, and we're ready to deflate the air mattresses. Open the two valves and roll up the mattresses while kneeling on them to push all the air out. When you reach the end of the mattress, close both of the valves. Repeat with the other mattress. If all four mattresses were in use, roll up the two shorter ones and secure with the provided Velcro straps to place in the front storage pod. Hold the two primary mattresses together with the valves on the same end. Starting with the non-valve ends, slide the mattresses above the table panels in the attic and push until they reach the back wall. The screen mesh can now be zipped shut. If you have the Mr. Stowe at all or the Twinkle Toes rug set, go ahead and hand those off to be stored away. From here, we'll unroll and close the stargazing windows and zip up the main windows and vent below the bed platform. Do the same on the other side. The bed panel packs fold up and are placed behind the bungee cord on the back wall. You can unlatch the front door and leave it hanging open. Take the awning down by unzipping it from the entry vestibule, removing the stakes from the ground, and taking out the orange pole. Fold up the awning, break down the pole, and put those in the four tent stakes in the black stuff sack and place in the front storage pot. Find the shorter length gray stuff sack which will hold the tent poles. Remove the orange pole that tensions the entry vestibule of the goat. Break it down and place in the gray stuff sack. Move to one of the sides and remove the two ends of the gray pole from the grommets. To slide the pole out of the sleeve, push the end of the pole with the palm of your hand, then pull the sleeve. Repeat until the pole is all the way out of the sleeve. Break down the pole and place in the gray stuff sack. Do the same on the opposite side. Walk around and detach all of the tent straps and hooks. Push the tent to the inside of the trailer. With the crank handle in place, turn clockwise to release the wall. Push the wall towards the back, then lower the rack system one to two feet to make it easier to put up the tent. Walk around to the entrance of the go. Step onto the deck and fold the tent into the pod. Be sure not to bend the end hoops and that the half moon walls are laying flat. Check to see that the latches are clear of tent material or straps and push up on both sides to close. Lift the step into the upright position. Walk to one side of the go and remove the bed platform support poles. Twist the pole to line up the key to the notch in the platform and lift up on the platform to disconnect. Lift the platforms up and over the pins, laying them on the inside of the trailer and resting on the step. Repeat on the other side. Remove all four poles by lining up the key to the notch on the mounting bracket. The poles will go in the longer of the two gray stuff sacks and are placed into the front storage pod. Retrieve the two Velcro straps from the tongue of the trailer. The shorter strap secures the platforms to the front behind the storage pod. The longer strap secures the platforms to the step. Head back to the crank arm and turn counterclockwise to lower the rack system all the way down. Find the four pins on the hook of the dolly jack and place the pins in all four corners, securing the rack system to the trailer. Use the crank arm to slightly raise the rack system and apply very light pressure on the pins. You can now return the crank arm into its holder in the storage pod lid. Release the front jacks first by stepping down on the lever and raise the foot by holding the lever with your thumbs and pulling up on the foot with your fingers. Pull down on the jack to unlock it and push it towards the underside of the go until it locks into place. Using the dolly jack, lower the go to release the weight off the rear jacks. Put the rear jacks up as you did the front. You're now ready to hook up your vehicle. Push the go around and back up your vehicle so it is fairly close. Position the go so the coupler is directly over the ball hitch. 
lower the coupler onto the ball using the dolly jack. The coupler will automatically lock onto the ball hitch and the indicator will move to the green plus sign, letting you know that it is securely locked into place. Pull the pin on the dolly jack and rotate it until horizontal with the tongue. Cross the safety cables and attach to the attachment points on your trailer hitch. Run the wiring connector through the wire loop on the coupler and attach to the electrical outlet on your vehicle. Make sure your lights and turn signals are working and you are ready to go. Drive safe and have fun.